Talk about a fan base that was at the top of the mountain yesterday. And then today, <laughs> yeah. I kid you That's not, volatile. I saw I saw tweets from people saying, does anyone anybody want to meet at the top of the Brooklyn Bridge? <laughs> yeah. In, within operate. 24 hours, yeah, if that's that. how we do it. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with here. So yeah. we're going from we're go. I, I have people. I have Yank. I've seen Yankee fans talking about world beaters going to run away with the World Series. There's Book always market, there are always those. Yeah, Sharpie. And then today you get the news that Garrett Cole possibly could maybe miss a year and then some. And now it's. Well, the season's over. I, I don't know how you get to from there to there with one guy. I understand he's your Cy Young winner, but he wasn't going to win you the World Series single-handedly. I'll just say that. Your thoughts? Here's the problem. There's a lot of problems, actually. But here's one of the problems is that we're just, we're, we're just so used to being lied to as a fan base. The Yankees organization just lies. They just flat out lie. So we're having to pick up the pieces and, you know, create our own scenario in our head. Aaron Boone saying, you know, he's saying stuff he said for years, for years, that it's just precautionary, that it's not that big of a deal. I mean, we said that about Aaron Judge last year, and then he's out for two months. Said that about Rizzo being fine. Obviously, issues there. It's like, it's just, it's it's always been there. We're always being lied to. Constantly. So we're having to pick up the pieces. Um, you want the hopeful side first? You want like the hopeful, somewhat positive Nate? I want, you want raw, him first? passionate Yankee fan Nate. Give it whatever, whatever so, comes to you first. I'm going to be positive first. I'm going to get this out of the way so I can, I can get in deep to all the other stuff. My irrational, you know, fears, basically. Positive. L- love him or hate him, Garrett Cole is a perfectionist. And he's very focused on how he feels and how he recovers and to the point of like nausea almost because it's like he's so precise on everything all the time. Every part of his pitching game has to be focused. So this is apparently based on slow recovery. There's no lack of velocity. There's no lack of control. There's no pain. But there is this, I'm not recovering as quickly as I should. So that's where we're getting this precautionary stuff. So I'm hoping this has just gotten blown out of proportion and it's him wanting to figure it out. Irrational Nate engaged. Um, This doesn't change how I feel. This rotation still needed help. Carlos Rodon is, I don't know what that is. I don't, that, I don't know if someone like copied and pasted and, and brought this new mustacheless Carlos Rodon out who throws like seven miles an hour lower than what he normally throws. I don't know what that is. Nestor Cortez, I'm getting a lot of like Jeremy Lin vibes. You were a very nice flash in the pan success, a fun, creative, you know, fan favorite type pitcher, but I'm starting to get a little, I don't know what you are because you're not overly healthy. And now that you are healthy, I'm going to read into your numbers kind of getting, kind of getting beat up in spring training. And there's certain things you can take away from spring training. I can't, I'm I'm not going to sit here and say that all spring training things are a wash and just put it under the umbrella of it's exhibition, it doesn't matter. There are certain names for every team. Every fan base has names that they're going to watch closely to see, are you looking better than the last time I saw you? With the idea that, okay, it's spring training, it's a little bit of a slow ramp-up period, but I'm worried. This rotation has me worried. The lack of depth was already there without Cole, 
they already needed to add to this rotation before Cole. So this news does not help. So for any Yankees fans that felt like we were on the top of the mountain, we were riding into the sunset with Cole, I strongly disagree. Strongly disagree. This rotation has holes and a lot of question marks. So yeah, I'm nervous, obviously. Former you know, Cy Young winner, it's like... I think I saw something since 2017. He's made 30 plus starts every year. The guy's literally a horse. Last six six full seasons, 30 plus. That's a horse. That's what you want. That's why he got paid what he what he did. So missing that absolutely hurts. But I'm not going to sit here and say that. This this team was already primed to be in the best possible position. 